Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. In this video, I will be talking about mainly process control of uh, industrial statistics, process control of industrial statistics and you will be getting more of these videos in our next sessions for more videos on industrial statistics and to brush up your concepts for um, MSc entrance and for your knowledge, you can keep checking our channel and stay tuned. Now, let us talk about process control. What is process control? Process control is actually the controlling method of variability by which we can actually increase the quality of goods or we can control it to produce high quality goods. So as we know that variability is an inherent is an inherent of all processes. So, it must be controlled in a way for which we can produce high quality goods high quality goods or it must be decreased to increase the quality of the product decrease to increase the quality of the product now I will talk about P and N P charts. P and N P charts. So, where are these P and N P charts applicable? P and N P charts are ideal. P and N P charts are ideal for discrete attribute data discrete discrete attribute data now what do you do with this p and n pictures is a very important part of this discussion attribute data is mainly used attribute data is for measures that categorizes or bucket items measures that categorize or bucket items and it is done in such a way that the proportion of an item the proportion of an item in a certain category can be calculated in a certain category can be calculated thus a p chart is used thus a p chart let me add a page is used when a control chart of these proportion is desired DESI -E desired so we can say that the attribute is mainly uh, attribute data is that kind of data which gives a measure and depending on that measure we can categorize or bucket the items that is we can categorize the items and the categorization is done in such a way that the 
categorize the categorization is of the items are done in such a way that the proportion of a item for the categorization can be calculated thus a p chart that means as we are using the p chart is used when a control chart of this proportion is desired okay now we will talk about np chart what is an np chart now let's see why do we use np chart suppose there are 100 reports and these 100 reports are reviewed each week so among these 100 reports some are reported as accurate and there are some which are report as inaccurate inaccurate so now the proportion of inaccurate reports the proportion of inaccurate reports could be plotted in p chart see in p chart we actually uh, take the proportion of the items which are categorized so in this case of 100 reports we are first categorizing the reports as accurate and inaccurate so if we want to know the proportion of the inaccurate uh, re reports then we need to use p chart and if we need to know the measurement of the inaccurate reports or the actual number of the inaccurate reports that is the actual number of inaccurate reports in accurate reports then we need to use np chart so this is basically the difference between p and np chart in a categorized item p chart gives a ratio of that categorized item but np chart gives the actual value or actual measurement of that categorized item now we will discuss about the control limit for p chart this is very important control limit for p chart these are some measurements which i will write down for you and you should remember this one is UCL P is equals to P bar plus 3 root over P bar multiplied by 1 minus P bar by N and LCL P is equals to P bar minus 3 root over of P bar multiplied by 1 minus P bar by N. Now there will be control limits for N P chart as well. I will write those two control limits for np chart the control limits for np charts are very interesting they are ucl np is equals to np bar plus 3 root over of np bar multiplied by 1 minus p bar and lcl np is equals to np bar minus 3 multiplied by np bar 1 minus p bar and here n is the subgroup size and p bar is the average function fraction detective sorry fraction defectives now our next discussion will be on c and u charts c and u charts these two are also very interesting they have control limits as well so now i will talk about l u c and u chart okay first i will talk about c chart c chart is analogous to np chart or you can say it is very similar to np chart why because c chart first of all requires equal sample size 
equal sample size for each data point for each data point and just like the n p charts gives the actual measurement of the chart or categorized item c chart c chart also gives or you can say c chart plots count data instead of giving the ratio so we can say that it is very analogous or very similar to n p charts and the main use of these are in evaluating errors on loan applications loan applications so when you are measuring or want to use this chart you have to sample same number of applications each week you have to sample same number of application each week each week and this c chart will give you the counting of the data instead of the ratio so if you want to calculate the error or if you want to know the number of error you must use c chart and c chart is very useful in these cases now we will check the control limits for c chart control limits for c chart what are the control limits for c chart lc lc is equals to c bar minus 3 root over c bar and uc lc is equals to c bar plus 3 root over c bar now we are going to talk about u chart U-chart is a more general version of C-chart, a more general version of C-chart. For we use this when the data points do not come from equal sized samples. For we use this when data doesn't come from equal sized sample so we are talking about u chart so as you know that in case of c chart we always ne we always need the sample which are equal equal in sizes but in case of u chart we can actually calculate the data points for samples which are not equally sized for instance if you review all loan applications each week for example when you are reviewing the loan applications when you are reviewing the loan applications and if the number of submission of applications applications differs in weekly basis number of application differ in weekly basis then you can as well calculate number of error calculate number of error which you cannot do in c chart so in c chart you can calculate when the number of reviewing application is same every week but in case of u chart if the number of submission of the applications varies over the week you can still calculate the number of errors from that data now we will talk about the control limits of u chart control limits let's see what the control limits are
L C L U is equals to U bar minus three root over U bar by N, and U C L U is equals to U bar plus three root over U bar by N. Here, U bar is the average number of defects per inspection. Defects per inspection. And C B D average number of defective N B D number of inspection units. Well, this is all for this video. and you can keep checking for more charts on industrial statistics in our next videos for more videos you can keep checking our channel as well we'll be given more of the videos on economical statistics and industrial statistics there this will be very helpful for your masters entrance as well as to brush up your concepts thank you for watching the video stay tuned for more